Layers and Ventus. Layers are basically separate levels at which you can place an object or image on video or gradient like a vignette. You can combine many layers to create one digital picture output without losing control of the separate elements on each layer. Layers are made of different transparencies, masks to cut out portions of an image or layer. Each layer in Ventus can have unique settings and even effects are applied to them. In Ventus, the order is the other way around as it is in other 2D manipulation tools. Means, since Ventus render tree works from top to bottom and from left to right, the layer on top is the base and all other following layers are on top of it. You can always edit the content of a layer by clicking on the pencil. This will display the hierarchy and content area nodes. The different layers are a group. This group has more individual layers inside. You can drag and drop other layers into that group and apply effects and masks, for example, to the complete group instead of each single layer. 2D layers can be a simple color layer to colorize the scene, add a color vignette and so on, gradient, image, movie clip, a movie frame, movie stream, a live video, texture or the textured property. You can hide and show layers by clicking on the small i symbol in front of the layer. Same goes for the group. You can collapse or expand the layer and or group by right click on the layer or the small triangle arrow. The 3D layers are so called advanced, which is a standard 3D layer. This layer contains then all the 3D content like your geometries, materials, logics, textures, etc. You can block and unblock nodes inside and expose their values outside to the layer level. The advanced thing is the light attenuation. In this case, linear light offers real smooth lighting offset while the legacy mode offers simple attenuation like with version 4. Legacy mode is just to be backwards compatible to Ventus 4. HDRI, which can also be used as a simple 3D layer, but offers more options if you click on the layer root node of the hierarchy. If there are properties available, you can expand and collapse them by right click too. The engine is per default set to HDRI if a HDR layer is created. Exposure can be adjusted, you have tone mapping, white point can be adjusted, gamma value can be selected if you have different HDRI image sources, for example, with different gamma. Bloom can be set and adjusted as well. Bloom specific settings can be adjusted here, like the threshold, the amount of bloom, and all usual settings, diameter, aspect gain, and so on. Simple depth of field can be enabled, adjusted, and some performance related presets are available as well. You see the depth of field now enabled and the depth effect immediately comes into account. Image-based lens flare can be added as well. You can define the shape of the lenses, add a dirt texture and so on. Anti-aliasing. Here you can set different anti-aliasing modes and adjust the values. Disabled effects are then grayed out as well as their properties. Scene layer is a so-called scene port, which allows you to load a scene into your scene, so you can have scenes as layers. Template layer is a template port. This makes it possible to use the take and queue system of the template engine. Photoshop import. Imports Photoshop files, PSDs can be loaded here. Um, stay tuned, this will be part of our next snippet about interop. All these layers have one thing in common, the basic properties, like blending, layout and effects. With layout, you can change the position and size for a 2D image, for example, to simply bring it on screen and take it out. Some layers have unique properties, for example, a 3D layer and a movie layer. 3D layer have a camera, since they are in 3D space, and the movie player, for example, has video controls like play, pause, and so on. Blend modes, like in other image manipulation tools, all Ventus 5 layers can have a blend mode applied. Also, the alpha or transparency for a layer can be adjusted and layers will blend properly. A real blending of 3D layers. Let's quickly switch through some blend modes. In this case, I'm blending a 3D layer, this hand, against a movie clip, which could also be a live video or whatever else, or a second 3D scene, it doesn't matter. Animating layers on FX. Nearly all layer values in the FX can be animated by a mover or by the animation timeline or the states engine. In this example, I just animated the positions of the layers and also I animated some of the FX values. 
I made this transition in less than 30 minutes and this animation could be triggered by the states engine. As you see, I just animated the values of the layer properties. I was not even using the hierarchy or content nodes inside the layers. I just had to use the layer values to change the position and or the FX values. Add FX to layers and animate them. Each layer can have effects added to a so-called effects group. Also, it is possible to mask these effect groups. I'm just gonna throw in some examples and combinations of effects. They should be self-explained. Enjoy! Another very interesting thing is to use 3D geometry as masks. For example, particles or even better using geometries from a third party like Cinema 4D. Since we created a live link to Cinema 4D, it is possible to create a simple animated spline mask in Cinema and use it in Ventus to blend some layers. Just use the created and animated geometry in Ventus and on top of that you could add our Ventus FX on that layer to create stunning blend FX or transitions. The more detailed explanation how to use this will be also part of the following interop snippet. Enjoy and see you soon!